John Wick's world keeps getting grander and the stakes keep getting higher. Before you head to the theater to watch John Wick Chapter 4, you'd better learn all you can about the assassin and his war with the high table. The release date for the fourth John Wick feature has changed multiple times for several different reasons. It was originally announced during the opening week of John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum that the fourth outing of the Baba Yaga would drop in cinemas on May 22, 2021. But due to the COVID-19 pandemic and Keanu Reeves' obligations to The Matrix Resurrections, the film was delayed until May 27, 2022. Then, in December 2021, the pandemic caused another delay, this time to March 24, 2023. This move might very well have been a blessing in disguise, as the May 27, 2022 date would have put the movie up against Top Gun Maverick, which was a massive success, raking in over $1 billion at the box office. Lionsgate announced the new date in a video on YouTube featuring the accountants, the ladies that work the switchboards and rotary phones in the John Wick franchise. These tattooed workers with sleeveless pink shirts are in charge of sending out messages to the many killers within the Mysterious Network's database regarding which unfortunate soul has a price on their head. The new date can be seen on the chalkboard and old-school computer monitor. The entire affair caps things off with the message, Be Seeing You. Fans can confidently mark their calendars, as John Wick Chapter 4 will finally arrive in theaters on March 24th, 2023. And when it does arrive, it will be the longest film in the franchise, with Collider reporting it'll clock in at two and a half hours. Last words, Winston? Just have fun out there. It looks like John Wick will take the war to the high table in the fourth installment of the franchise. After growing tired of being the one on the run from swarms of bloodthirsty death dealers, John will be looking to do what he does best against the mysterious leaders of the strange assassin-filled underworld. As the official plot synopsis tells us, he'll travel from New York to Paris to Osaka to Berlin in his quest for vengeance. And part of his plan will be challenging a shadowy marquee to a duel to the death. If he wins or loses, either way, he'll be free from the high table. Director Chad Stahelski talked about the fourth film in the franchise in an interview with IndieWire and hinted at how things could turn out for the titular character. John may survive all this but at the end of it, there's no happy ending. He's got nowhere to go. He's for the rest of his life. It's just a matter of time. He also told Empire that the film will be more epic than the previous movies, will focus on multiple storylines, and said it will feel like a combination of Greek myth, Japanese movies about the blind samurai Satoichi, and the good, the bad, and the ugly. Whatever happens in John Wick Chapter 4, fans can rest assured that there will be plenty of action, with Stahelski promising it will outdo its predecessors regarding the franchise's bloodiest entry. Keanu Reeves will be back as the titular unkillable killer in John Wick Chapter 4, and he'll be accompanied by a stacked roster full of talent. Familiar returning faces include Ian McShane as the silver-tongued Winston and Lance Reddick as the stoic continental concierge Sharon. Lawrence Fishburne is back as the Bowery King, and these fan favorites will be accompanied by a slew of newcomers played by some pretty big names. IT star Bill Skarsgård is taking on the role of the Marquis, a character director Chad Stahelski has described as the one in charge of cleaning up all the messes from the first three movies. Then there's legendary action star Donnie Yen bringing his skills to the franchise as Kane, a blind martial artist and ex-assassin who lost his eyesight to protect his daughter. He also seems to have a complicated relationship with Wick as he's been described as his friend but will also battle our dog-loving hero. Of course, Yen isn't the only martial arts star on board. We've also got Scott Adkins of films like Accident Man playing a character named Killa. We've also got Hiroyuki Sanada as Shimazu, who fans will no doubt recognize from Japanese movies like The Twilight Samurai and Ring, as well as American films like Mortal Kombat and Bullet Train. He'll be joined by singer-model Rina Sawayama, making her cinematic debut as Akira. Sawayama is evidently pretty psyched about the film, telling Enemy that the fourth flick is 100% the best John Wick that's ever been, and I'm not being biased. Like, honestly, the scale is insane this time. Shamir Anderson from Invasion is also joining the John Wick fold as the Tracker, who Stahelski describes as a character that's in the gray area between the two worlds, the Wick world and the real world. And in true John Wick fashion, the tracker seems to be a big fan of dogs. Plus, character actor extraordinaire Clancy Brown, with credits ranging from The Shawshank Redemption to SpongeBob SquarePants, will be bringing his gravitas to the role of the Harbinger, 
and Natalie Tenna of Harry Potter fame will be playing a woman described by Stahelski as someone who's like John's stepsister. Chad Stahelski has been a stuntman in the industry for many years, even doubling for Brandon Lee on The Crow. Stahelski later worked with Keanu Reeves as a stunt coordinator on The Matrix movies, but his directorial debut came with John Wick in 2014, and he helmed the two sequels, John Wick Chapter 2 and John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. It's pretty safe to assume that his work with the John Wick franchise is his biggest claim to fame, and he triumphantly returns to the director's chair for John Wick Chapter 4. Stahelski has come a long way throughout his career, and there is no denying he's found great success with the John Wick movies. He discussed his thoughts with The Hollywood Reporter on the fourth feature and how his experiences have contributed to its quality. So I just tried to put all the things I've gotten better at in the last two and a half years into this movie. I hope that will make the movie better instead of just trying to do bigger explosions and bigger if I tell a better story, which I think I've done, and do my job a little bit better in every avenue, I think the movie will be better. After the initial sneak peek dropped in July 2022, fans were treated to a full-length trailer in November, promising a film that seems both emotional and action-packed. Death, revenge, and the possibility of redemption hang over the trailer. You're going to die. Maybe not. And after that opening scene, we learn John has a way of escaping the High Table's wrath. According to Ian McShane's Winston, he can challenge Bill Skarsgård's Marquis to a duel. If he wins, he's free. If he dies, well, that's kind of a freedom too. We're then given a glimpse of Natalia Tena's character, someone who's said to be like John's stepsister, so we're assuming she has some sort of connection to the Underworld's most powerful figures. We're also excited to witness all the incredible action on display. There's an epic staircase shootout, an angry attack dog, John chasing people through the desert on horseback, and not one, but two vicious duels with Donnie Yen. One where he's having a sword fight with Hiroyuki Sonata, and one where it's a katana and pistol battle with John Wick. With each new John Wick movie, the scope and stakes get bigger, and we learn more about the mysterious world of criminals and assassins. That means John Wick will be doing some sightseeing in Chapter 4, and he'll drop by some pretty impressive landmarks. When speaking with Collider, director Chad Stahelski explained how they shot scenes near the Eiffel Tower and the Arc de Triomphe. They even got to film a scene inside the Louvre, but don't expect any crazy fights amongst all the artwork. Even a great filmmaker like Stahelski has his limits when it comes to getting approval to shoot explosive action scenes in classy locations. Speaking of cool action scenes, it looks like Chapter 4 will really be upping the ante when it comes to car chases. We've seen John burn some serious rubber in the past, but according to Keanu Reeves, the streets are about to get even more intense. Speaking with Total Film, the actor said, We took the car driving to the next level, which I really enjoy. There's 180s, forward into reverse 180s, reverse into forward 270s, drifting. So it was really fun to get a chance to learn those skills and to play. John Wick Chapter 4 is our opus. Oh my god, it's crazy, man. It's banana cakes. Nobody expected John Wick to become an unstoppable franchise. Now it's given birth to a total of four films, the upcoming Continental prequel series, and the much-anticipated ballerina spin-off. But will there be a proper fifth film coming down the pipeline? Well, according to Total Film, Chapter 4 and Chapter 5 were originally supposed to film back-to-back. -back. However, the movie business is ever-changing, and that didn't pan out. But chances are pretty good we'll see John back in action. Man has to look his best when it's time to get married. Or buried. Director Chad Stahelski implied he'd be returning to the franchise after directing Michael B. Jordan in the upcoming action thriller Rainbow Six. He told Total Film, You might have to give me and John Wick just a little break. Ask me in a couple of months. As for Reeves, the humble star has this to say about a potential fifth film. You have to see how the audience responds to what we did. The only reason we've had a chance to make these movies is that people have liked what we have done. So I think we have to wait and see how the audience responds to it. Hopefully, they'll like it. In the meantime, you can expect to see the titular hero going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Anna de Armas, as the two will share a fight scene in the spin-off flick, Ballerina.